Hello everyone, welcome to the probably weirdest thing I've ever done in this channel, Back to the Future, the game for the computer. This is a game that my friend told me about and I was like, whoa, well, let's try to play it. And I'm a big fan of Back to the Future and um, thought that was could have been fun, you know. Well, I know nothing about this game. I know nothing. This is a blind play. This is a very, very blind play. Because I just played it a little bit to see if it's working. And that's it. I don't know anything else. Uh, so I'm going to the settings and check if everything is going correctly. Music voice effects and it looks everything looks perfect. Medium okay. As long as my computer can handle it, we'll play it. And I'm not uploading any of those episodes until I finish the game completely. And like there are five games. Five! Like five games all connected to the other, because like five episodes. In any case. Well, let's just go right into it and see what we can find. Uh, let's see. Before we begin, we just see the notification of March's new goal. Okay, let's do that. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I hope my computer can actually handle it because this game is actually a lot. It uses up a lot of resources. Telltale Games. Presents. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Good, fine. Come on, I need. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Yeah, I got it. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. That's one hell of acceleration there. Not me. The car. The car. The car. The car, Marty. The car. I walk in front of the camera. Huh? If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Watch this, watch this. And you're dead. Oh, you disintegrated Einstein. Where's the car? What the heck? Yeah, what the heck? Uh, what I tell you? 88 miles per hour! The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Doc, who the heck was that? Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both heights tied to the car are completely intact. Are you sure about that? So where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. Uh, and it precisely what are you talking about? You build a time machine on those... Oh yeah, you put your dog in a time machine? The time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You you put your dog in a time machine made out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! That doesn't look right. That definitely doesn't look uh, right. Doc? That's peculiar. Yeah, that's peculiar indeed. Where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened, Einstein? Good question. The only concern is probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Okay, and this is where I got to the game. So basically, I got here, and then I don't know anything else. Doc needs his notebook. Walk Marty to the left, and you can see Doc's toolbox. So basically, this is like a kind of a puzzle game where you walk around and find stuff and 
you know, stuff like that. There's another game I want to do in this channel that kind of looks like this, but it's way more complicated than this, I think. I don't know, I haven't played it's Back to the Future. Kick and hold the left mouse button and drive Marty in the direction. Okay, oh, fine. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of also some. Well, whatever. Can I, how far can I walk? Not a lot. Okay, fine, whatever. Let's select the toolbox, search for a notebook. Okay, so you can kind of. Can I go here? See what's behind the truck. Can you get into the truck? No? Okay, fine. Toolbox. Notebook. Notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals isn't the way this isn't, isn't the way it happened. Does sound familiar? You gotta get out of here. Flux dispersal rate is inversely. Yeah, how about we gotta get out of here? Shouldn't we get out of here before the Libyan show? Yeah, up? right. We should. At least that that was worked in the movie. I mean, right. Uh, Doc? Ah, what the hell is that? Great Scott! Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake! You're telling me! Of course you did! Einstein fucking disappeared! Oh shit! What the hell? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! Oh fuck! That, that's bad. That's definitely bad. Doc! Oh wait, I was all the dream. It was just a dream. I was fine. Marty, is everything okay? How was that? Oh, Mom, I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Well, that actually happened in the movie, right? Yeah, you still have the picture. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Okay, whatever. Yeah, back to the future of the game. Loading! Loading up, come on. My poor computer is gonna get turned down. <laughs> okay, where are we? Where are we? Oh! This is Dog's Lab, episode 1, it's about time. That's like, uh, Plant vs. Zombie 2 is about time, that's the same title. Written designed by Andy Harzel, Mike Stemmel. Oh, that's the plastic, the, the thing, the art director Derek Sakai. How is the thing still here? It shouldn't be here. Lived on a major Peter Sakai. By the way, I don't even know if this game tells a story about, I don't know, what happened after the movies, or it's just like a completely different things. A completely different retelling of Back to the Future, I don't even know. Directed by Dennis Leonard. What else? Story constant Bob Gale. Estate stable May 14, 1986. Dad! Are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's doc stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset. But your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty! Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... ...remembering. 
search Doc's lab for dangerous materials. Select items around the lab to make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous lying around. Oh, what's there? End story so far. Oh, sorry, we got a little diary here. It's been months since animals heard of Doc Brown. Despite Margie's protest, he has moved forward with his state proceedings and is actioning up his belongings. Troubled by his nightmare, Marty begins searching Doc's abandoned lab for dangerous items. Exit, I guess? Okay, I'll see what happens. Clocks. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. George. Hang on, where am I? Oh, there we am. Okay. George. I talk with my father? Hey, Dad. Uh, who's running the sale? Doc's alive. What are you doing here? I had a dream. Who's running the sale? Who's running the sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? you. Shut Why? No. Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Some of stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. What the heck is Biff doing here? Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. <laughs> Even Biff. Uh, I'm a box alive. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know- Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it. But Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. Uh, I had a dream. I have a dream that Doc uh, will come back. Can predict the future. Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just <laughs> weird stuff yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. Uh, look at Doc Motorville Valley. I, I just let me just select all the option, and then you got Doc wrong. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That, that's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. All right then. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Amplifier. Amplifier controls. Amplifier. Let's see. Amplifier. It forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Uh, the controls. Let's make some noise. Okay, down square mode. Hang on, can I? Can I walk a little bit closer to it? Uh, down square mode, jukebox, Biff. Uh, I want this hand. Yeah. Hey, Biff. Okay, let's talk to Biff. Oh, hi, Marty. Uh, what are you doing here? Dog's not dead. See anything dangerous or valuable? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, I was as bummed as anybody to hear that the old nutcase had kicked it. He's not. But I'm not above picking through the remains. You know what they say, don't look a gift horse in the butt. I don't think that's right anyway, Doc's not dead. Doc's not dead, you know, he's still around. Oh really? Do you see him around here? Uh, see. I'm looking for something, uh, in particular. Yeah? Something valuable? Uh... uh Alright. Never mind. No point talking to Ben. Wasn't a point to talk to me anyway. Let's see. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Uh, I saw it first. On, I saw it first. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I picked it up first. 
Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Ah! Uh, you need help getting Doc's nose food back from Biff. Click on the ends button. Uh, how about now? You! Hang on, Doc. Your books? Can I do something with it? Hey, let me try, Marty. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. Yeah, let Marty have my turn. Mr. McFly. Let me have my turn. Uh, jukebox. And he's gonna do that. Now, Biff. Sorry, Marty. No, he's just gonna do that over and over. Fine. Hang on. Hang on. I saw something. Mind reading helmet. Scientific equipment. Mind reading helmet. Looks like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Kind of. Yeah. Uh, scientific equipment. I say. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Uh, hang on. There's something. There's something else here. That. Right. That one. Rock must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. Oh, it smells like beef stew. Uh, all right then. Yeah. Biff. Hey, Biff. Uh, the notebook dangerous. Notebook worthless. Notebook reminds me of Doc. You wouldn't understand the notebook. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? Yes, I am. Uh, I'll buy the notebook from you. I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh, Not enough. Uh, it's dangerous. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What is it set to explode or something? Yes, it is. Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. Uh, it's worthless. Just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Nah, oh, fuck you. All right then. Uh. That's all I only want that notebook because, well, I'm I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. Fine. I'll uh, never, never mind. mind. Yeah, never mind. I say. Anything else I can use here? Biff. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything I can do. Uh. Whoa. There's a guitar. Uh, Town Square model, George Martin's guitar, hang on. Hang on! Hang on! It's an amplifier, anything else you can use? I guess there's only Martin's guitars left. Hey, Martin's guitar. Hey Dad, why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry son, must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up, I'll iron things out with the bank. Great, you picked up Marty's guitar, left click on the blinking inventory button to open your inventory. So I can I have items? What's this? Hey, now no, you have not your inventory, you can highlight items by clicking on the next and previous. I like the photo of George McFly, click the examine item button to examine more closely. Uh, down square model. How do I click on the examine button? I don't want to mess up my picture of dad like that. Oh, you can use it on stuff. Uh... Ah! Okay, examine. I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. Okay, uh... Use item. So you can use stuff. And I select the amplifier to plug in the guitar. Oh, okay. We're gonna blow up some shit then? Here's an oldie. What a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, <laughs> gosh, <laughs> you're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. <laughs> Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Ah, uh, I'll just start. Now, something your kids are really gonna like. 
Thanks for warming him up for me, butthead. Biff, I thought I told you not to take my son's guitar. Oh, right. Sure thing, Mr. McFly. I was just warming him up for you, Marty. Let's see what you got. I was gonna do the same all over again. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Okay, what do I do then? Let's see, uh, amplify controls. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Why not? I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Okay, how uh, about to see? So I don't have anything else, right? No, I don't. Uh, let's get out of here. So if I use my guitar, that's not gonna work. Now that is a dangerous amp. Yeah, you know. Uh, so that doesn't work. Uh, more clocks. More clocks? I haven't sucked those. Maybe there's something behind one of those clocks. Jennifer'd like that. She's into old stuff. Okay, nothing interesting. George. Uh, clocks. Dog feeder. Dog feeder. Hey, let me. Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. Stop hanging around, man. I'll I'll get the notebook off of you somehow. Does that even work? Well, it still does. Even though there's nothing in it. Fish tank. Einstein bowl. Door. Dog feeder. Nothing else. Sorry, Einstein bowl. I miss Einstein. That's a fish tank. A fish tank. I never knew Doc raised fish. Maybe he cooked them. Weird taste in decor. I kind of like Doc. Uh, door. I can't leave until I get Doc's notebook back from Biff. Fine, then, uh. It's, 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 it's uh. Yours. You got anything else to say? Hey, Dad. Um. If I can find my own fight, Dad. I need to protect Doc's notebook. That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? Because it's not here. Oh, oh the legacy. Please, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. But he's not here to take care of his own stuff. I need to do that. I can find my own points, Dad. Uh, Biff, Dad, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Yeah, well, thanks to my help. I can handle it. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, about this. Problem? Biff? He's got this... thing, see? And I really need to get it back. If he stole something from you... No, it, it's one of Doc's notebooks. Yeah, he found it first, but... Oh. Well, then I'm not sure what to tell you. I guess you'll just have to appeal to his better angels or something. Or something. Uh. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Hmm. Okay, uh... Let's see. Let's get... Let's get told to Biff again, I don't know. Hey, Biff. Uh... uh that's always the same, uh... I'll see something change it. How much? Uh... Not enough! Uh, never mind. Okay. So what the hell? The town square model again? Seems hmm. kinda empty without the courthouse. Nothing interesting, huh? Two box. Will they still do that? I got one. Hmm. Looks like he's not getting my way anymore. Amplifier. Now that is a dangerous amp. Okay, I'll see if he still has the guitar. Let's see if he's still. Yeah, it still does that. Oh, he has changed. Nothing changed here.
Oh, that's gonna blow up. Watch me blow the lid off this joint. Hey, you're gonna blow up. Say? Rock on, Biff. Oh, shit. Hey, get the notebook quick. You, I'm, I run away from where him right now. Uh, Doc. Where Poor Biff steals me from steals from his stand. Wait, what? What was that? Was that the DeLorean? No. Uh. Okay. Clues for Doc's whereabouts. Huh? Let's open the DeLorean, can we? Doc? Come on, open it. Open it. Who are you scared of? Huh. Oh, it's Einstein. Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Hand teletype recorder, time circuit switch, time circuit keypad, a shoe. Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the, the tape recorder, you used to use that a lot, let's see. Marty? Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always a possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past, or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back, or, or forward. To whatever it is, I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right, Last Time Departed, Last Time Departed, huh? Oh, jeez. Come on, come on. Come on. And that thing's Crap. always broken. Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Uh, maybe, maybe there's something here. Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. Uh, I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. Uh, how about the... Uh, mysterious show. This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. What about his notebook? This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. And by wrong hands, I mostly mean bit. Okay, then, uh... Fine. Anything else I can do here? Exit. Okay, get out of the DeLorean, okay. Close. Fury and Shuri are cool in goal. Click the goal button in the upper left corner. Follow the trail to the dock. Well, there's nothing here except the DeLorean. I don't think I'm, I, I can even go back, right? Can I go back? Is, is that an option? No, it's not. It's not an option. How about Einstein? What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Alright then, uh... How about the trash cans? I don't even know. Uh... Yeah. I don't know, in any case, well, I think that's enough for this time. You know, I'll I'll see you guys next time. Uh, back to the future blind play. Let's see if we can actually find a way to find where Doc is going. See you guys then.